Hey, good morning from Walla Walla, Washington. I'm still out here dinking around with these um, two old machine tools. Hear all the traffic out there? Everybody's going to work, but I've been working for a couple hours. I get up real early, you know. Well, uh, I've got the uh, Axelson electrical system put back on and I thought I'd show that because um, this is a very old lathe, 1941 Axelson, kind of a earlier version than uh, the little bit later ones. Uh, this one doesn't have insert steel uh, bedways and, and uh, just kind of more of a plain lathe than a lot of ways, good old geared head lathe. But uh, the electrical system on this 81-year-old uh, machine's intact. Let's have a look at it. And here it is. Got it on there. It's um, got a switch up here. And I, I think it was for the work light. And they added uh, this on um, for a 110-volt coolant pump here that uh, was replaced at one time. There's a, a three-phase uh, um, standard old pump in, in there. But uh, this kind of pump's fine. I don't, I don't need a huge volume. And uh, what I'm gonna use, <laughs> need uh, coolant for is um, uh, cutting titanium. Uh, there's a, uh, um, uh, a sandvik uh, extrusion plant net nearby and uh, hot rodders get uh, titanium shorts from them and uh, often have me make parts for them and titanium is really kind of strange stuff uh, the harder alloys you have to have coolant on it or you just the stuff gets hotter and hotter and harder and harder. So if you can cool it down, you can cut it. And this axisun's going to be a brute on titanium, so it uh, it'll do well. The uh, electrical here got a real nice uh, cable here intact, and uh, here's the uh, main disconnect if I can get it loose. Still a little bit stuck, I think. Yeah, right there. And uh, then once you click that on, then it energizes this uh, Donegan uh, transformer to get the uh, um, 110 volts. Kind of an isolation transformer. So, you know, so you can have 220 or 440 come to the machine and with that transformer you have usable 110 volt for your work light or whatever. Here's the main contactor here. Square D. Got that all cleaned up. Looks real good. So, I get that back on there. So that's kind of how that's all plumbed in there, all all solid, all all real nice. I'm I'm real happy with that. This this was really dirty back there, and uh, now it's all clean and painted. And you just take a rag and and clean all that stuff up. It, it it's just going to be great. I uh, uh, the the weather's going to be pretty good, uh, and uh, I'm gonna. Uh, the, the guys I learned um, <laughs> this uh, painting machines with a brush, there's one more step they did. And it, it's real easy. And I, I'm going to go around and I'm going to scuff the paint a little bit and, and knock the, the drips out. And uh, then um, what they did at the machine tool deal over Moses Lake was uh, after the you get a bunch of paint on it, let it dry, dry enough so you can scuff it up with dry paper, dry sandpaper. Then they come back with some um, thinned, a little bit more thinned finish paint and, and brush it on with those um, foam brushes real light. And it, it makes it look a little bit more like spray. But um, I, I took the advice from Manny and I got some flood penetral. And uh, I actually found it here all along. 
chased it down and got it. So I'm going to add that to that last step and uh, see how this comes out you know i just think it'll make them look um a little bit better i a uh, little bit uh you know i i want to get this stuff kind of cleaned up a little, little bit better but uh the, <laughs> so i'm gonna sand that and uh I, and i got it down here where uh, you know at my level here so i can take care of that a little bit easier okay i'm gonna i'm gonna load this video and uh get this out real quick just wanted to check in and uh, I hope everyone's doing fine and uh, got their projects rolling and uh, y'all have a good day today okay bye-bye